And let me tell you, this took freaking up. Oh. Yes, it's raining and thunder and lightning. Remember last week, I showed you it snowed like this? It's absolutely beautiful out, isn't it? Well then, while I was working all week, we hit record temperatures, like hotter than what our summers usually get to. What a beautiful, beautiful evening. And welcome to my channel, where we get to ride my bicycle. And now, well, Saturday, and it's thunder and lightning and pouring rain. Welcome to the van build, my peeps. Let's start the video. Canada has issued a tornado alert. This alert is in effect for Alberta and Foothills number 31. Seek shelter immediately in a basement or reinforced structure. Get low and put as many walls between yourself and the storm as possible. And now that that finally went over and the sky is blue again, we're ready to get started. And today's project is something we weren't even going to talk about. I was just going to do it in the background so that I could get our kitchen galley and our overhead cabinets all mounted up this week. But as I was doing that and getting it all set up, of course we have the back side of our screen door, which still has a couple big gaps that need to be sealed up. Because there's no point in having this screen door in place that we worked so hard to get all sealed up on this edge and then have it wide open on this side, letting all the bugs in. And the reason why I wasn't really gonna share it is because once all this stuff's built, you're not even gonna be able to notice what we've done here. Except for, from the outside, you'll be able to see a little bit of the gap there and there. So we need to figure out a way to cover that that's going to be not noticeable when it's finished. we got to put a ton of work in for something you're not even going to notice when you walk into the van as a completed project. But let me tell you, getting this plastic piece all cut out and fit because Although this looks straight, it definitely is not. It's like a bow from a bow and arrow set where it has a slight curve that way as well as it curves this way. I don't know how to explain it on camera, but let me tell you, it's racked the brain. And by the time I got this all sorted out and figured out what I was doing, we're out of time for the week and I really want to get a video out again for you guys. So without going into a ton of detail, we'll just show you what this is going to look like when it's all finished. And last week we tried doing vinyl wrapped wood, which of course didn't work, we ended up using paint. So this week, we're gonna get that vinyl wrapped wood to work so I can show you. So once I did finally get this piece to fit in, now on this side, it's not important at all because you're not gonna see it once the overhead cabinets and the backsplash and everything are in. You're only gonna see it from this side, which means this is a side that needs to look good. So now that I got this fitted in, I'm gonna trace it and cut it onto eighth inch plywood. So we now end up with a piece that looks like this. And this is our eighth inch plywood, also known as flexible plywood. And we're gonna be doing a lot more with this in the future. So hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on those episodes. But once we did get it all cut and fit, we realized that that plastic templating stuff we use is quarter inch thick. And when it's eighth inch, it actually goes in front of the screen. So we spent a ton of time trying to get this curve that direction correct, which was really kind of pointless because on the final design, the plywood is actually gonna come over the edge of the door on this side. And then we're just gonna screw it right into the middle wall behind it so it holds it all in place. Pretty simple. So now that we know it all fits, we get to wrap it. So we'll cut a piece of our vinyl wrap off of the roll and away we go. So to apply this 3M vinyl wrap, we got this soft card, which we're gonna use to press it down onto our piece of wood as well as we have a heat gun, which is called the Super Stripper 1500. And we're gonna use that to heat the vinyl as we place it down so it shrinks on and make sure there's no air bubbles in our vinyl wrap. So, 
Pretty straightforward stuff. So I'll lay our piece down on our table. Make sure we're nice and dust free. I have gone through and vacuumed and everything like that on our table. Then I'm just gonna peel this off. Once we get that part started, Just going to lay it down on our wood and start peeling everything away. So I'm just going to lay it down lightly at first. Then I'm going to use our knife and cut out around it. And then use our heat gun and just slowly start applying heat and pushing it to the edges so we don't have any lines or air bubbles left inside of it. So why is our heat gun not turning on? You'll actually see as we apply heat, you'll see it kind of squinch up. And that's when we push it away. See that? But now you'll see we got a nice vinyl wrap on there, which looks really, really good. So now I got to wrap around the edges. So use our knife. I'm going to cut a straight line this way. And on the same on the other side. A little bit of heat again. And we'll pull it over. Frick, I do apologize because the camera went dead while I was doing that and I didn't even notice I was just working away. But there it is. And I wanna make this video real quick anyways. So now we have a vinyl wrap piece of wood. We go put it back in place. I gotta put you down to do this. Now I'm gonna drive our screws in that we pre drilled. And then take a look from the outside. You're seeing it live with me. I haven't gone around and looked yet. You notice the camera didn't shut off? So if it looks like crap, you get to see it with me. And the jury says. Dude, it looks completely factory. What? Look at that. And now, no more bugs can get in through the back side of our screen. So now I just gotta do that to this, which isn't quite as easy. So after a whole bunch of templating, I came up with this T-shaped type item. That's a half inch plywood. And it's gonna slide right in between there and kind of fill that gap in. Once we got it nice and straight, see, we'll have it. So at least we have something. So on this side, we'll be able to bolt into here again so it's held in place. And then after more hours and hours and hours of templating and sanding, we will cover it off with a piece of plywood. This is a 3 8 piece of plywood, which will just be a cap to make sure there's no seams or gaps in there. So now that we have our T-shaped piece made and our little cover piece that's gonna go on top of it, we're just gonna use our wood glue and clamp these together. And we'll just leave it like that for a couple hours. So we cooked up a nice yummy steak dinner to restore our energy. And then we'll give the bone to Winnie because he's such a good boy. Yes! And now our parts should be ready. So then we'll test fit it and we'll sand it. And then we'll test fit it. And then I sand it. And then I test fit it. 
We'll pre-drill our holes. And then we'll wrap it. And there it is. Now we slide it in for our final test fit. That's perfect. What? Looks like a factory piece if you ask me. Can you guys see that in the camera? So now we'll screw it in place. And just like that, our bottom piece is completely sealed in. If you didn't know we built that, you wouldn't even know it was there. And our top piece, completely built in. And we vinyl wrapped woods. <laughs> woods. <laughs> yeah, well, it is two pieces of wood, so that still makes sense. I'm going with it. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing so. If you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you on the next video. Are you a happy boy? Hey? Yeah, you like that? Is that good? Yeah, I thought so. Actually, hold on, maybe we want to stick around for a sec. Let's make sure that door shut without breaking anything now that we have that all together. Boom. Okay, now we'll see you on the next video. Perfect.